Hello everyone, so I just wanted to do a new series of videos, just like cosplay sewing tips in under two minutes. So let's get right into it. The first one is covering ugly stitches. So <laughs> we've all had moments in sewing where we felt our stitches were less than stellar. One fix for this would be to take your seam ripper and rip out all the seams and redo it. Redo them. However, in some instances we would prefer not to do this for one reason or another. One example of this would be if your fabric's like a really delicate fabric and you really don't want to damage it. But if your fabric's too delicate, this following method might not be the best thing to do either. But there's definitely ways around that. So anyways, back into the <laughs> video. So in the example on screen, I accidentally cut my boning a few millimeters too large. Just make sure your boning's the correct size or you're going to have a lot of problems. <laughs> so yeah, this led me to being able to... Un this led me to being unable to stitch in the ditch at the edge of the upper bias tape on the project. So I probably should have just readjusted the boning because it would have saved me a lot of problems and it's a smarter thing to do so that you don't break your needle. But I decided to fight my perfectionism anxiety and just try and let it go. So in the end, the stitches really ended up bothering me and I didn't want to damage the bias tape by removing them. So I decided to just cover them up with a small hand embroidered chain stitch. You could also use a fancy machine stitch. Just be careful not to make things worse because I've done that before too by getting too carried away. So I want to leave you with this final message. Fight perfectionism as best as you can because it only makes you suffer. So take care everybody. Bye. Overall, it ends up being kind of a personal opinion for what you decide to do and what you like, and it can add something special and unique to your garment. And ultimately, it ends up taking a similar amount of time to add a stitch in the ditch as it would have to just take all the stitches out and re-stitch it. I did this, or I do this method on a lot of my garments and stuff, and one cosplay that I very specifically remember doing it to is my Ocarina of Time. Two stripes on the bottom. I used a fancy stitch on the upper one, I believe. I might have gone to the bottom one too, but I can't remember. So, yeah, but I did that because I kind of wanted to add something special to it more so than cover up an issue, but there were stitches I didn't like on that part, so it also covered that up. So there's that. Yeah. So overall, it adds something special while masking what I didn't like, so. Overall, it added something special, well-matched, some stuff that I didn't like. So yeah, it's a great way to cover up a mistake you don't like, and...